testing here triac dimmable custom voltage led driver that's a main stimmable driver uh, 240 volts input main stimmable can be controlled from a conventional uh, dimmer switch and the output is pwm output 24 volts uh, proper for led strip lighting um, in this example uh, i connected here two meters of uh, led strip um, approximate load of uh, 30 watt it is suggested to um, run those drivers, the main steamable ones, at least with 50% of their of their maximum power consumption. That's a 60 watt, so a roughly 30 watt load will run smoothly this driver. It can also run with lower load, but uh, the minimum brightness will be higher if the load is not uh, at least 50% of the maximum rating of the driver. So let's power on now and see the results. And here we have 100% of the brightness. And let me gradually dim to the minimum. So I'm dimming now down to the minimum. Here is the minimum. So that's the minimum brightness and maximum brightness for this test i used the very light jqp401w that's uh, from very light uh, v pro dimmer series it's a trailing edge dimmer it's a trailing edge dimmer switch and found to operate very nicely with highline uh, main steamable LED driver 60 watt, 30 watt, 100 watt, 150 watt and up to 200 watt uh, we offer similar main steamable drivers and as I said V Pro from Very Light V Pro series operates smoothly and any other trailing edge uh, dimmer switch should uh, work smoothly with uh, this driver. Leading edge is also possible, but some of them, um, if uh, especially if the load is uh, the maximum capacity is high, for example, 400 watt, it will uh, uh, it will flicker. So it's suggested either leading or trailing edge. Trailing is suggested, but um, you have to check the maximum, uh, the minimum requirements of the dimmer. In this case, uh, very light with the V Pro series can uh, run uh, dimmable loads uh, as little as 10 watt. So some dimmers, the minimum requirement will be maybe 100 or uh, uh, more or less. So you have to uh, take it into consideration. It's very important, the minimum load and the maximum, of course, but especially the minimum one, because in our case, we just have 30 watt load. So if the minimum requirement of the dimmer is 60, it will flicker. I removed now um, the half of the load. So I just now have roughly 15 watt of LED strip. This dimmable, main dimmable driver is 60 watt. As I mentioned before, 30 watt load is suggested, but let's try with 15 watt. It's 14.4 in, in reality, so one meter of LED strip, 14.4 watt. And let's check the results. Okay, in full brightness definitely won't cause any trouble. And let's try to dim down the load. That's a minimum dimming is slightly higher brightness than with at least 30 watt load so the minimum dimming in case that the load is not uh, at least 50 percent of the driver is it's a bit higher than it should be i still operates 
without any problems. And last test uh, using the same driver, 60 watt main steamable LED strip driver. The only difference now I just have half meter of LED strip which is roughly 7.2 watt power consumption. So we'll be testing the 60 watt with a load of 7.2 watt which is not suggested as I said earlier we need at least 30 watt load for the 60 watt. 50 percent of the maximum capacity of the main steamable driver is suggested to be the load. 100 percent brightness it seems okay and we gradually dim to zero and that's a minimum. It seems to work still okay but the dimming, the dimming range is not linear as an example now maximum and I move to the minimum and the brightness is still unchanged because of the uh, small load that I have to the driver and here starts to respond to the dimming and the minimum is not as before, it's higher brightness at the minimum setting.